In this project, we will make an IoT based decibel meter with Node MCU ESP8266 and sound sensor module, then monitor the sound level intensity on the Arduino IoT Cloud. This is a simple decibel meter using Node MCU and sound sensor module. We will also use a small 0.96 inch I2C OLED display to visualize the noise intensity locally. The sound sensor will detect the sound and convert it to an analog voltage which is read by a Node MCU ESP8266 module. Then Node MCU connects to the Wi-Fi network and uploads the data to the Arduino IoT Cloud server. So you can monitor those parameters remotely from anywhere in the world. This is a small sound sensor module and it has a perfect condenser mic that detects the level of sound from the sound producing medium. It has a comparator IC which helps to digitize the signal which is available at the out pin. This sound sensor has a potentiometer that is used to adjust the sensitivity of the out signal and it has three pins they are out BCC and GND. So here is the circuit diagram that we have assembled on the breadboard. Connect the I2C pins ST and SCL of the OLED display to D2 and D1 pins of the Node MCU. Supply the OLED display and the sound sensor BCC and GND pins with 3.3 volt and ground pin respectively. And similarly the sound sensor is interfaced with the analog pin A0 of the Node MCU. So here is the assembly on the breadboard and all the components are assembled as per the circuit diagram. So to remove this messy wiring and give a clean look, I have designed a PCB prototype for this project. It is also helpful for troubleshooting without any errors. So I prefer PCB way for ordering a custom PCB. Because PCB way is the place that brings the manufacturers and customers together. They have more than decades of experience in the field of fabrication and prototyping and assembling of PCBs. To order the PCB from PCB way, go to the instant code tab and then click on the quick order PCB. Now click on the add Garber file. You can download the Garber file from the website link provided in the description below. After uploading the Garber file, you can choose the layers, thickness and solder max as well. And also you can choose the assembly service if required. Finally, you can submit the order and within a week, you can get a high quality PCB. Now it's time to set up the Arduino IoT Cloud Dashboard. So go to the Arduino Store and click on the IoT Cloud. Then you need to create a thing first. Click on the create thing and give it a name anything like IoT Decibel Meter. Now we need to create a variable and for that click on the add variable button. Name the variable anything like db. In the variable type select the floating point number so an automatic declaration of variables will be done. Now set the variable permission to read only and then click on the add variable button to create the first variable. Now we need to configure our device as well and for that select the device option and from the list select a third party device. Then select ESP8266 board and from the list select node MCU 1.0 ESP2LE module. Now click on continue and give any name to the device. Give any name like decibel meter and then click on next button. So the device ID and secret key is created here. You need to save this device ID for coding part or simply download this PDF file which has information of secret key and then click on continue button. Now again you need to set up the network credential. So input your SSID and password and the secret key that you created earlier. 
and finally everything is set up now now let's go to the dashboard here we need to build a web dashboard and mobile app dashboard for monitoring the live data from anywhere in the world you can also provide a name to the dashboard i am giving decibel meter as a dashboard name now click on the add button then scroll down to select gauze give it a name db then link a db variable that we have created earlier click on done similarly add a chart widget and link the same variable now you can arrange and resize the widget as per your requirements you can also customize your mobile dashboard using same method so finally we are done with this iot dashboard setup now let's move on to the source code so this is a simple code that i have written in arduino ide you can get this program code from the link in the description below in this code i have added required library files and defined the a0 pin of the node mcu that we are using to detect the sound level using this code we are converting the minimum and maximum voltage generated into the decibel value similarly using this function we are displaying the sound intensity in decibel using the bar graph on oled display and also updating the decibel value to the arduino iot cloud apart from the coding part we need to upload the code but before that we need to install an agent to flash the code directly from the web browser and you can follow this instruction on the screen to install the agent on your windows pc once the driver is installed the com port will appear then select the esp8266 node mcu board from the list and its com port as well then upload the code it will take some time to upload the code and when it's done you will see some upload success message on the screen now it's time to test our project after the code is uploaded the node mc will try connecting to the wi-fi network after successful wi-fi connection the device is connected to the arduino iot cloud server you can observe this process on the oled display now you can play some sound or music and observe the value on the display now open the dashboard you can monitor the real time data of sound intensity in decibel as shown in the video you can also monitor these parameters from the mobile dashboard and for that you need to install the arduino iot remote from the play store sign in using the same user id and password and you can open the dashboard to monitor the data remotely so here is the short demonstration of this project so this tutorial shows you how to make iot based decibel meter with esp8266 and sound sensor module and monitor those data on arduino iot cloud i hope this project was helpful for you if you need any type of help related to this project then please let me know in the comment section below it's me elson signing off for today see you soon on the next one thank you